Today I'm going to be talking about someone who's had a positive influence on me in my life and that person would be my father. He's always been a huge influencer and I just appreciate him so much. He was born August 22nd, 1968. He was raised in South Florida, Coral Springs in particular, and he attended Coral Springs High for four years, graduated, and then went on to community college for about two years. He then began working under my uncle. My uncle owns a construction company, so my dad was a construction worker. One challenge I know he's definitely faced is not always being financially stable. Raising five kids is a challenge within itself. However, providing for them is a whole other challenge. My dad was a man who always made sure his kids not always had everything we wanted, but everything we needed, and I really see the significance behind that now. I know it wouldn't have been easy on any two parents raising five kids, and growing up and seeing how well they raised this is just truly amazing. Another challenge I know my dad's face is being in a car accident, leading to back surgery, which would typically leave someone bedside for a year or two. But knowing my dad, he, he would never accept, accept that. He was in bed for probably two to three months, and then he went back to work for construction. And knowing construction and the hard labor it consists of, which requires a lot of strength, um, he went back just to provide for us. And that is just something that's been with me for a long time, just seeing his strength. Um, not only that, he then shifted back going to the gym and working on his physical strength, what is also amazing. I think that's where I get my athletics from. It honestly just shows me no matter what comes his way, my dad has shown me no, no me ways to overcome it. Um, unfortunately, his mother then passed away when he was about 21 at a very young age. And just seeing the, seeing the father he is today, I think that reflected on him to appreciate life and then always know that his days are limited and to live it up to the absolute most. Um, some ways he specifically influenced me in a positive way is always pushing me to achieve everything I've set out for myself. I didn't always believe in myself. I mean, working, um, going to school and playing soccer all full time, which is very overwhel overwhelming and challenging. He would take time to sit with me and, and assist me in achieving my success. I remember looking back, he would tell me to organize myself and make a schedule to achieve by the end of each week and said that I will be successful. So just having that reassurance from my father is just something that I appreciate so much. And then unfortunately, my father was diagnosed with ALS. He continued on his first few months as if he had forever to go. Looking back three years ago, my dad literally continued going back to work for half days and going to the gym. He still had that motivation to like, just live up his days, you know, after being diagnosed. I mean, it's just kind of unheard of. Um, he's just so strong. Most people would take the news he got and fall into like a depression. And instead, he took it as motivation to live up his days until he no longer could. And that's why he's my influencer. Not only then, but then my brother passed away, which was his half son. Not only was I losing my father, I also just lost my brother to sepsis. I was going through just tons of emotions as a teenager and he was always there. My dad was always there, the one that was just diagnosed with ALS. Like just seeing like the strength and it's just unbelievable making sure not only I was okay, but that the rest of his kids were too. We should be the ones checking on him. But he was just always there, shining his big smile of strength and bravery. Just all characteristics most wouldn't be able to hold. He's just my absolute hero. Basically, I've been through a bit of tragedy, and the one person who continues to hold a smile through it all when he has every right to break down is my father. That man I will forever be thankful to call my dad. Some things that enabled him to be a good influence on me was, like I said, he just held like this ultimate strength, bravery, and positivity. When he had all this stuff going on within his life, and not only losing a son, he was just diagnosed. He just he always held an op like an optimistic outlook on everything, and I think that is just incredible. And I'm just so happy that I've experienced that with him because he's just the strongest man I know. Looking back, I would say to give back to my class is that everyone has their problems, obstacles, and challenges. No matter what that may be, there's always something waiting for you on the other side. You just have to be strong enough to achieve it. Just give yourself that time to like, just collect yourself and just know that everything does get better. I don't know what problems people people may have. I know some may be worse than the others, but within time, I, I honestly truly believe that it does get better. And it's those who overcome them and move forward who are rewarded in the end. Just know that no matter where life takes you or how hard it may be, 
there's just something waiting for you on the other side. And I promise you, if you stay strong, that it will be good.